Dr. Battaglia, call extension 198. Dr. Battaglia, You're hilarious. Aren't you supposed to be in court? I'm on my way. Yeah, I'm sorry I can't be there right now. I have to finish my community service, but I'll be able to join you soon. No, 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 don't worry about it. But there is something else you could do for me. A favor. Ah, oh, okay, I can't believe I'm saying this. What do you need? Talk to Ryan. Tell him to stay away from my trial. You talk to him. I did, he wouldn't listen. Ugh. He insists on being in the courtroom every day, and Liza is using it to make it look, look like I murdered David. Yes, because you're still in love with him. Would you just explain to him that I appreciate his support, but he's hurting my case. And you don't want to risk anyone seeing there's a case against him. Exactly, that can't happen. So convince him, use the friendship card, the spike card, whatever you have to use. Okay, I'll, I'll try, but I mean, we both know, Ryan. Once he's made up his mind, just that's it. Try. That's all I ask. You look good. How are you feeling? I go back and forth. One minute I believe my dad and I believe that Liza doesn't have enough to convict me and the next I'm picturing myself in the same hideous outfit in a cell for the next 20 years. But I'm all about the positive. Could be worse, I man. Could be wearing those gloves. Or are these pants or this shirt? <laughs> well, um, I think Jackson will come through for you. And I'll do my best with Ryan. Bye. Do you do windows? Shut it. Ah! Get out. Be gone. So our witness hasn't gotten cold feet. He's good to go. We have prepped him for hours. Let's just hope he doesn't change his story. Once it gets on the witness stand. He hasn't changed it so far. He heard me say someone's gonna die right before David did. Look, Ryan. To ask you this again, you are sure that you want to go through with this? Absolutely. There's still a big chunk of time where I don't remember what happened. And if a witness can help me out with that, I mean, if it helps Greenlee, then... Thank you. I'll see you at the courthouse in a few. Greenlee was pretty adamant about you staying away from her trial. Yeah, well, it's almost over. Well, maybe she has a point. I mean, Liza used my testimony to make it seem like you and Greenlee are... Just maybe it's just, it just might be better if you didn't go. I have to. All right, then I'll go with you. Might have made a lousy witness, but at least I can be there to support you. Thank you, Madison, but I, um... I need to do this alone. Smells good. Oh, and I can smell all the cinnamon just the way I like it. You sure this is okay? Yeah, it's perfectly fine to eat before amnio. I could even go jogging if I wanted to. <laughs> Please tell me you don't want to. With your world-famous French toast in front of me, I ain't going nowhere. Yeah, I'm just glad that you don't have to take the stand at the trial today. Well, I was ready when Jackson needed me. Especially if the wrong person's on trial. What do you mean? I've been thinking about this case. And I'm not so sure Greenlee's guilty. Liza, you feeling all right? Yeah, why wouldn't I be? Well, I heard you were in the hospital. I just want to make sure everything's okay. I'm fine, thank you. Good. Looking a little ragged yourself there, Counselor. You getting much sleep? Not near enough, no. But then I'm trying to prove my daughter's innocence. So. Well, Jack, I mean, she really didn't make it that easy for you, now, did she? Besides, you and I both know that the jury is looking at her like the murderer that she is. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a case to win. Ooh, look at that sheen! I can almost see my beautiful face in there! Nice brush strokes! Could you write that up in my community service report? Maybe they'll cut my last few hours. I gotta tell you, I had some doubts about you. I didn't think you'd make it through the week, but you scrubbed your way through some of the most caked on gunk I've ever seen. And trust me, I have seen some gunk. Thanks. Who would have thought that Erica Kane's daughter would have been able to make a toilet shine? Let me tell you, you wanna impress your husband? 
Show them your new cleaning techniques. Yeah. Well, my, my husband's not around right now. Sometimes that's a good thing. Mm, not this time. I miss him so much. I know this is going to sound completely ridiculous and silly. It's like this is straight out of a romance novel. But I have this fantasy that I'm, I'm wearing this long, flowy dress and a little flower tucked behind my ear. And I'm on a beautiful hillside. And he comes riding back to me on this big white horse. Yeah, well, anyway, uh, that's what I think about when I stare into this bucket of muddy water. You forgot your horse. Oh my hey. God, Zach, why didn't you tell me that you were coming? Why, I, I, I could have met you at the airport with the boys. It's a last minute decision. Wow, I, I thought I was the impulsive one in this relationship. So what, you just, you just hopped on a plane? Yeah, woke up this morning and I didn't want to be without my family anymore, so here I am. And here I am. Oh my God, I'm, I'm, I'm a mess. This is the, the first time that you've seen me in weeks, and this, this is what I look like. You probably want to go right back out to sea. You look pretty good. Tell me you're here to stay. Did she teach you how to give a sponge bath? Uh, I, I, I could figure it out. Then I'm here to stay. Is sitting through your ex's murder trial my idea of a good time? No. But I want to be there. For you. Look, I know. I know you. You do, but... From this point on, I need to be at that courthouse alone. Ryan, what's going on? Does this have something to do with your conversation with Jack? Just trust me. Okay? It's going to be better you staying away. It's not going to be easy to watch. Really, what you just heard Liza say in there, that's nothing more than gamesmanship. It's just trash talk. Lawyers trash talk? Absolutely. You want your opposition to think you're winning at all times. I keep watching the jury, trying to get a read on them, figure out what they're thinking. The woman in the front keeps staring at me like I drowned her cat. But you didn't, did you? <sighs> Save smiles. Many more smiles ahead, I promise you. You do. You do trust me, right? Of course I do. Okay. You keep asking me that. If you've got something up your sleeve... The only thing I have up my sleeve is the truth. You didn't murder anyone, and I'm going to make sure you walk out of that courtroom a free woman. Now that sounds like a plan, does it not? Let's put it into action. Does it bother you that I think Greenlee might be innocent? No, not at all. I'm, you're entitled to your opinion. I mean, with all the people who despise David Haywood, are you really sure she killed him? Right. You heard all the evidence? It's pretty solid. And he pushed her so far. I'm sh I know exactly how she was feeling. I mean, he pushed me to the point where I wanted to wrap my hands around his throat and squeeze that bile-ridden life right out of him. 
That's exactly what I was afraid of. What's wrong? I'm just checking that Ryan listened to me. I made it very clear I do not want him showing up here again. Really, I think maybe you're overestimating the impact that Madison's testimony had. Liza wants the jury to think I'm still in love with Ryan. Don't look at me like that. I'm not going to help her case by having him sit behind me every day. Good morning. What are you doing here? I told you to stay away. And I told you that I couldn't. Leave. Now. No. Court is back in session. The defense will call its first witness. I'm warning you. Really? No, he, he shouldn't be here. Excuse me. Is, is there a problem, Mr. Montgomery? No, Your Honor, no problem at all. Yes, Your Honor, there is. I demand Ryan Lavery be removed from this courtroom immediately. ABC 